the, the problem is, is nobody has defined what being conservative means. Go and ahead. I think that is our problem. Conservatives means we have smaller government and more liberty. And yet, uh, if you ask what have we done, I think we've lost our way completely. Our rhetoric is still pretty good. But when we get in charge, we expand the government. You talk about uh, Dodd-Frank, but we gave him Sarbanes-Oxley. We gave debts as well, you know, when we're in charge. So if it means limited government, you have to ask a basic question, what should the role of government be? The founders asked that question, had a revolution, wrote a constitution. And, and they said the role of government ought to be to protect liberty. It's not to run a welfare state and not to be the policeman of the world. And, and so if you're going to be conservative, how can you be conservative and cut food stamps, but you won't cut spending overseas? There's not a nickel or penny that anybody will cut on the conservative side overseas spending. And we don't have the money. They're willing to start more wars. So I say if you're conservative, you want small government across the board, especially in personal liberty. What's wrong with having people, the government, out of our personal lives? So this is what we have to decide what conservative means, what limited government means. And I have a simple suggestion. We have a pretty good guide, and if we follow the Constitution, government would be very small, and we would all be devoted conservatives. Governor Romney again tonight, uh, so-called Romney Care and so-called Obamacare.